I just got an amazing bargain. So I was searching around Facebook and I found somebody selling an Xbox One for about $300. And he was also offering 25 Xbox 360 games. Of course, when I messaged him, he told me unexpectedly that he was also going to give me an Xbox 360 with two controllers. So, I was, for $300, I was getting an Xbox One S, an X, sorry, an Xbox One S, an Xbox 360, two controllers for each, so two Xbox 360 controllers and two Xbox One controllers, plus a whopping 35 games. Yeah. Now, why is there only about half of that here? Well, actually, I went out and traded about 18 of them to get the game that we're going to be talking about today, Sonic Forces on Xbox One. Um, I've heard some very polarizing things about this game, and I wanted to try it out for myself. I was Ideally, I was hoping to get either the PlayStation 4 or Switch versions, but of course those systems are a bit slightly more expensive, so... I chose I chose the version that was that I had. I mean um again, it's a polarizing game. Um some say it's it's okay, others think it's a big step backwards and I've seen the footage. It's it um definitely the game's art style definitely doesn't look as great as say um, Sonic Unleashed, I, I still think that game, 10 years on, is the best looking 3D Sonic game, period. And maybe it wasn't such a wise decision to have traded all those 18 games just to get this thing, but, you know, I'm a big Sonic fan. I've, I've done, I paid 40 bucks for Sonic Boom, for Sonic Boom Fire and Ice on, on 3DS. So, and I even got a PlayStation 3 just to get, um, just to get Sonic Generations. I'll be back with a pair of scissors. Sorry for the jump cut, guys. The wrapping is really hard to get off sometimes. Alright, so wrapping off. Let's get more wrapping off. Yay. So I had a heck of a time trading in those 18 games, because I wanted... The thing is, when you trade in your games towards something else, they don't charge you tax. So I paid $54.99 for this. Well, sorry. The game Sonic Forces was $54.99, and when I used my trade credit towards it, um, I didn't have to pay tax. So it was just $54.99. As opposed to, well buying it normally where they do charge you tax. So without further ado, let's pop this let's get right, let's open this thing up. And uh, yeah, so we have oh that's right. This is the alright so we have the game on left of all places and we have episode shadow. Uh, that's right. If I'm correct Download available on PlayStation 4. Rediscover. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure if it's free or not, but... Yeah, there's no code, so... I don't know, maybe maybe it's I have to pay for it? Hopefully not. I mean... Oh, man, I really should have gotten the bonus edition now, shouldn't I? Oh, oh well. Yeah, if you got the bonus edition, you got... You got some... We got controller skin and episode shadow, but clearly that isn't the case here. It's just a regular copy, which sucks. Oh well. Let's just pop this thing in. Yeah. Yeah, the one thing that that Microsoft does differently than its competitors is have their games on the left instead of the right.
Okay, so Sonic Forces need an update of 318 megabits. All right. Um, yeah, sh I guess I'll have to update it now. That's great. I forgot to put the batteries in the controller. Well, while I get... Well then. This has been a disastrous video. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys... Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get get a lot of news out of both the Xbox 360 and Xbox One S for sure, and this game. You know, I mean, I have a week until I can return this to EB Games, so there's that. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Take care. Bye.